I'm pretty healthy. I have uh, been advised and taken the advice to take pretty good care, you know, take good care of myself. Um, I do see a therapist. I've thought about and talked to her about whether um, it would be helpful to me to be in a support group. If you, you know, there are similar groups for caretakers and caregivers and so on. Um, but I've got a very supportive uh, two daughters. Uh, and at this point, I think I'm doing pretty well with it. I am actually doing physical exercise more than I ever have in my life. Um, have somebody that comes and pushes me a couple times a week, uh, who's, uh, I guess their you know, personal trainer sounds a little pretentious, but uh, it's someone who, that's what she does. And she, like, she gets me to do things I wouldn't ordinarily do. Uh, the building has a fitness room. Uh, I just bought an electric bike, which means uh, I still have to pedal, but I can go a lot further. So I can go on a 30-mile ride. I haven't yet, but uh, I've gone as far as 20 miles on it. And uh, my kids go 30, and on that, I can the last 10 I could coast, so I can do that. But I go places, and I went yesterday to actually my therapist about 8 miles away on my bike. So I'm, I'm taking very good care of myself because if I'm not in good shape, then it's going to be really difficult for Penny. If I didn't take good care of myself, if I'm not okay, then it's going to be very hard for Penny and the family. And we also have a great um, group of friends. Uh, what you find that's interesting as, I don't know if interesting is, is the right word, um, your world does get smaller, even, you know, certainly Penny's does, and mine does too. Um, and your circle of friends needs to get smaller. You can't have the same outreach because you don't have the same amount of time. Um, I've also been able to cut down a little bit on work, so I'm working three days a week, and that helps. And I've got kind of a schedule to get down to uh, less than that in a few years how I mobilize the, the team, if you will, is um, basically I just, we've got such wonderful friends and family that I really don't know that I've done much of anything. Um, my kids worry about me, which lets me worry about Penny. And uh, actually worry is not the right, do things about it. Um, one of Penny's mottos is, if you can do something about it, why worry? And if you can't do anything about it, why worry? It'd be nice to live that, that and we can't. But um, we've just got wonderful friends that keep tabs on us. Uh, my kids come over. They make sure uh, my daughter, one daughter who does a lot of, went back to biking, but she does a lot of biking. And. She calls up and says, let's go for a ride. And she comes over from, you know, it's about, she lives about eight, nine miles away. And she'll just come over and we've got a bike path and we'll do that. Um, we've been very fortunate to, to have just wonderful friends that uh, keep an eye on us. So I haven't had to do very much in that regard other than, um, I guess, become more comfortable with that we're not the ones that are doing the outreach and the instigating and the setting up, uh, going out to dinner or whatever, that uh, I've become a lot more passive about that and what happens, happens. And that's okay. <laughs>